Okay, this is a completely unprepared presentation on how Jack Reacher works. In the electronics box, you can see a small Arduino Nano attached to a custom circuit board that interprets the radio signal from my transmitter to change the rotation of the motor to turn it off when I engage the weapon. The way the weapon works, the large black flywheel at the back rotates very quickly. In fact, in this current version, it actually rotates this direction. And there's a clutch in the center, these two gray wheels down here, that are on a slide. They can move up and down. And while the flywheel is rotating, these two servos, one on each side, you can kind of see it's a little dark here, rotate a little arm to lift the clutch mechanism upward. While this wheel is rotating, if the clutch gets lifted into it, it gets stuck between what I'm calling the coil drum and the flywheel. Now, once it's jammed in there, if the flywheel is still rotating, it causes the coil drum to rotate also. As the coil drum rotates, it coils. See if I can use my other hand here. It coils, which wraps this rope. You can see the little black rope down in there around the coil bobbin, which is here. And as it's winding up, the rope itself. Sorry, I got to pull against the bungees here. The rope itself coils around that shaft and reels in and reels in, and as it does, it pulls the flipper up too. So when it starts, the flipper is all the way down, and the coil is all the way out, and then as it rotates, it winds in the rope and causes the flipper to rotate up. When it hits the end of the stroke, these two big rubber stoppers make it so that it doesn't just break. And the rope goes really, really tight. And you can see here that the bottom of the rope is actually getting pressed into almost a hard plastic from where it jams into the idlers up here. And one other change that I made recently is that the clutch wheels used to actually drop into the two flywheel and coil drum pieces, but now they get lifted up into the middle. And what that does is while this is rotating quickly, when they engage, it basically tries to force my entire robot to rotate around the flywheel shaft. And the problem with that is, when it was rotating the other direction, like this, the whole robot would flip up on its face. And now, instead, it flips back on its tail, and it throws the front end up in the air, and the opponent as well.